And it, oh no! Nobody joins yet. Okay, perfect. This is no, this is not perfect. You can't see the water in the background. Hold on. Let me like ah. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back, bendiciones. If the wind is too loud, let me know and I can put this all in the truck. The wind is probably too loud, right? On Michi's forecast of the day, John, I don't know why you have me out here to let you know that it's windy, but since you need a reminder in the office while you're warm, yeah, it's windy out here. Um, I would say it's about like a good 58 degrees, you know, can y'all hear me good? Can you hear me? No, really, can y'all hear me? This isn't the skit no more. Can y'all hear me? We good? Or do I need to go inside the truck? Because it's, it's a little windy, you know, because y'all, I'm just saying, I mean, I wore a flowy skirt, girl. I wore a skirt so y'all can see how windy it is. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go inside. It's rough. Guys, I'll go inside. See you in the see you in the office in the studios. Ooh, look at that. Que bonita bandera. Que bonita bandera. Que bonita bandera. La bandera for three. Yeah. Woo! Wepa! To so all my Puerto Ricanos and Puerto Ricanos out there, I'm just repping one side of myself because the skirt gave me that bomba, like vibe. But <laughs> I'm mixed with a lot of things. So if I did a shout out for, every, for all of them, forget about it. We'll be here all day. All right. You know what? I need a shopping bag for my water. Let me go grab one. Ew. I'm not bougie. I can't wait till we finally get to the review. This is so unorganized, like always. What's new, girl? You be all over the place. <sighs> Bitch, I wanted to relive the fantasy. Hashtag not sponsored, but Whole Foods, I kept on to the back so it could feel brand new. You know, like you want to preserve the memory let's go ahead and put my water in here all my bougie waters oh. let's go ahead and put that in our shopping cart our little you know put that in there Damn, Jonathan, go home and give me a Juna with the groceries, man. Let me tell you something. If we're dating and I'm walking in the house with groceries and my child on my hip and you is not helping me with these, first of all, I shouldn't even have to, I shouldn't even have to carry the bags. They should have been, you should have been downstairs waiting. Waiting for me. What kind of relationship is this? All right. It's okay. We try to do a cute little outside situation. It didn't work out. But you live and you learn, and then you get logs. Desmond, you good over there? You good? I don't want to hear you complaining. You already ate. So don't be looking at my food. You already ate. I already fed you marshmallows. Did y'all know that? Desmond likes gourmet marshmallows. I didn't know that. So every day I make him a new gourmet marshmallow recipe. Will you guys be interested in like my marshmallow recipes? I've been making them up in my head, but I never really tried them because Desmond eats imaginary food. So whatever I imagine, I tell him and I tell him the flavor profiles. So we'll give you an example. Desmond, you know what mommy made for dinner tonight? I made, 
I mean a chamoy inspired marshmallow. So it's covered in tahini and chamoy sauce. And I put it on a stick and that's it. So it's like a little sweet, a little spicy, you know? And then I gave you mango slices on the side. But I know you're gonna eat, you're not gonna eat those mango slices. So those really are for me. And that's what he'd be eating. He'd be eating imaginary food. Oh, hold on. Y'all going in on me. Let's get all naked. Let's grab our little wipes. Let's put our little hand sanitizer. Then we're gonna get a little wipes. Wash our hands, you know what I'm saying? Sorry guys, the video quality the video quality was a little sketchy in the beginning, but we good now. We good now. So, let me give you a little disclaimer. So, today is like the day I've been looking forward to. I have been having all these waters in the back of my truck, keeping cool, and I've been dying to try them. So, today, we are doing a very, very bougie water review. Oh my God. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And today I would like to give a shout out to everyone from the House of Illness who donated that was, so that made this possible, honestly. You guys not only are my fairy bombas, you guys are also like my sponsors, honestly. Like I've been wanting sponsors and I've been wanting sponsors, but you guys sponsor me all the time and I appreciate it. And I mean, it's, it's, not just water, because I am here to prove to y'all that all water is not the same water. I mean, we tried Arrowhead water, hashtag not sponsored, but look, when have you known me to leave a bottle of water half full? Never. I drink it to the bottom, but Arrowhead, you're not it. You're not it. Buy spring water. I mean, spring water, it tastes like tap water. It tastes like tap water, honestly. Uh, so... Let's go down the list of waters that I have. Of course, I have my favorite, favorite, favorite Skyra water. The 888 Alkaline Water with the David Borealis in the background. Love, love, love this. This is imported from Iceland. Now, you have to understand, there's levels to this, baby. There's levels to this shit. So, this water, when it comes to bougie water... If it's imported, it already bougies the, it like, it intensifies the bouginess of the water. Like, you're not drinking just regular water. You're drinking bougie, bougie water. So, oh my God, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is how I know. Like, I want my man, like, say for instance, I go to Iceland and we're going to manifest on all these waters. So, preparate. This is going to be a long video. So, put your seatbelts on. Go ahead. Put your seatbelts on because I don't want to hear nothing. It's going to be a long ride. And I don't want to hear, mommy, 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 can we stop for McDonald's? No. No, we're not stopping for McDonald's because I cook for y'all. Ya comiste en la casa. And don't ask for nothing, all right? Don't ask for nothing. No me hace pasar vergüenza. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? No me hace pasar vergüenza means like, don't make me get embarrassed out in public. Because you know what that means when you go home. Una pela, una pela. Go straight to the shower and you already know what time it is after the shower. So, boom. My first water, Skyra water. It's imported from Iceland. It's an imported water. And this water is very expensive. They had it on sale at 7-Eleven, two for $4. But $2 for a bottle of water, it's worth it for a special splurge. It's my favorite water. I put it in here because it's imported. And I feel very, very bougie when I drink that water. So after that, let's go ahead and go to the Aquapana. The Aquapana, I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is a naturally alkaline water that is from Tuscany, Italy. So this is from Italy. This baby is imported. And the fact that you see the Skyra water is not glass. It's plastic. 
but it has the um david borealis in the background right so it looks beautiful it gives you a moment like it captures the moment and i love uh when we talk about packaging let's go ahead and just talk about packaging i'm gonna break everything down i didn't break down the skyward water i'm sorry we'll get back to the aquapana the packaging of each of these waters look at this a black top it's big you know what i'm saying i ain't you know what i'm saying it's big and then it's square it's a square shape i don't know if you see that it's square i love that and then down here the divot in the plastic looks like a nordic star you know so i love that then also the way the label looks like mountain peaks on the top beautiful the accent over the eye being a mount mountain peak like a snowy peak beautiful the attention to detail and then the naturally and then look at the negative spacing in the label it's just bougie this is a water that you want to display in your fridge in my house this water would have been like for visita visita is guest si tu eres gente if you're gente that means like you're um you're like an adult or something you would get bougie water in my house but only if you were visita right visita is guest like if you were a guest so the fact that this packaging has the negative spacing and then the picture is like a mural in the background of the aborealis lights and look at the back of it it continues on with the packaging and this is a negative spacing that reveals the uh, mural in the back of this water and then look at this imported from iceland it gives a nice little detail pristine natural icelandic spring water filtered over the ages through basalt and lava and bottled daily from a self-replenishing source nothing is added or taken out with a natural high ph of 888 eight being my favorite number that's what it says here that is the info of this water i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i'm obsessed and then look at this it says iceland right here ah ah packaging for this the only thing that i would say that make that would make it 10 times better is if it was glass because glass feels more bougie but packaging i give it a 8.88 <laughs> so now that we got that out of the way let's go to the aquapana the aquapana is from tuscany italy so when we talk about imported this is imported from italy so automatically imported water equals bougie it equals bougie water this is not everyday water this is bougie water now let's read what they say about the aquapana it says natural spring water the smoothest taste of tuscany i love how they have like almost like the vineyards in the back of the water and then this sort of emblem you know this emblem looks like a family crest and then the back it says in this little stamp right here like it's almost like in this perfectly centered with the negative spacing on the side right it says aquapana an epic journey for a taste like no other crafted by nature aquapana flows through the beautiful sun drenched hills of tuscany each drop is naturally filtered and perfected by time on its 14 year journey to the spring obtaining a special mineral balance for a smooth taste like no other aqua bana when you give a description i felt i felt the water going through the sun-dressed hills of tuscany i'm feeling the fantasy you're selling it to me it has a glass bottle it has this sort of like tin top that you know once you open it you have to drink it all so they're they're letting you know that once you open it you're not going to be able to reclose it because you're gonna drink it all that's how confident this italian water is you know what i'm saying like i'm obsessed with it i'm obsessed with it okay now let's go to the next water it's gonna increase in bouginess now this water i was a little scared and i have its brother okay la flor de lis is the symbol thank you diana cicereo thank you 
the floor de lis i love that that's bougie that's bougie floor de lis that sounds like a door like that sounds like somebody's name floor de lis ven aquí y que yo te dijo ha ha es para ir para el cuarto para hacer tarea no para estar ahí jungando like you know what i'm saying like floor de lis floor de lis floor de lis ven recome you know what i'm saying it sounds like that so this is liquid death right sparkling and natural mountain water now i was scared about this i thought this was um you know i'm from the hood so i thought this was like um you know those 50 cent beers like those ice house and like um um what is it called ice house and um oh what are those cheap like 25 cent beers that's what it looks like right I thought this was alcohol, like a spiked water, like a mineral water. But if you read it in the back, it says contains 0% alcohol. There's no alcohol in here, right? So look at this. Look at this. What I love about this water, it says liquid death water with like this skull in gold. And it looks like a beer can, but I love that it has a gold top on it because it gives me bougie. Now, it's very scary by name, but it says liquid death water away oh, mountain water murder your thirst. So it's, it's saying that like forget about thirst. You will never know what thirsty is because it's going to murder your thirst and it's drinking water from the Australian Alps, the Australian Alps. They didn't just say Australia. They said Australian Alps. So they want you to know that it comes from this specific region. Now, let's read this. When a group of teenagers set off into the mountains for a weekend of drinking regular water in plastic bottles, they became haunted by an aluminum can of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirst and recycling their souls. Once cracked open, no thirst is safe from liquid death. After ritually dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water used to sever body parts of dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit of which it is used to disguise to get a job in marketing. But liquid death never took the job. It just murdered a bunch more thirst instead. Hashtag death to plastic. We donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. So what I love about this is that it's very cheeky. They have a message behind the water. They want to eliminate plastic waste in this world and they're encouraging it. It's, it's something that they're leading with. It's clearly on their bottle. Um, I love that. I love Save the Earth. I love any company that's conscious of the environment and its sort of um, footprint that it leaves, like the eco footprint. So just on that alone, Liquid Death, I love that. I love, love, love that you put that on the bottle, that you put that on the can, excuse me. It gives me very, like, I grew up in the project, so it's giving me very, like, you know, the people in the hood, they would drink the water, and they'll put it in um a brown paper, they'll drink their water, but it'll be in a brown paper bag, and they'll be like, what's up, you know what, you know what I'm saying, but um, it's giving me very nostalgia, it's giving me very, like, I'm not old enough to go buy beer for my uncle who's drinking, but, you know, the, the poppies at the store, they know me, so they're going to sell it to me, but it's really for my uncle. Yeah, it's giving me very much that. You could taste the can. Let's see if we taste the can flavor. Christy, let's see if we taste the can flavor. So now let's go and take another trip to, where is this coming? From Mexico. Monterrey, Mexico, carbonated Tupico Chico, Tupico Chico, I should know how to say this, but look at this, this is water from Mexico, bougie, I love how, espérate, yo soy una freca, if you don't know what freca is, I'm sorry, it means fresh, this bottle, when you rub your fingers through it, Eso me tiene confundida. That has me a little confused. I'm like. 
This water? This feels a little different. Yo no sé qué esto. This feels a little different. Why you got these ridges? Pa qué eso? Like what? what what's that for? Tú eres un freco. Ha ha. Ha ha. What y'all doing over there? Un freco. This water. Yo no sé. But I love, love this label right here where it shows that they're drinking the water straight from the source. That makes it bougie. Then it's glass. I love the sound of glass. Bougie. Bougie, bougie, bougie. And then look. Now, I don't like this label the way it's stamped here. I, I, I kind of could have done without it. I would have liked it if it was just clean on top and just this label because this label alone is just beautiful right here. It's beautiful. Then they have the the name right here etched in and you can feel it because it's raised. So bougie level. I would rate this like, I would give it like a six. And the Aquapana, I would give that like an eight, uh, like an 8.1. I would give this like a 6.4, you know. Um, but you know what? I would give it a good seven. Let me tell you why. Because the sensation of you just going down the bottle in this part, you're like, espérate. Tu pico chico. I don't know. Something might happen tonight. <laughs> You're making me think about some stuff. So I would give this a seven. Yo, this is like a 30 minute long video and I haven't even drank any of the water. Oh my Lord. People are going to be so livid. Oh, well. <laughs> like for part two. <laughs> so now we took a trip to Mexico. Now we're going to take a trip to Eperate. Where is this from? Um, hold on. Hold on. Germany. This water is from Germany. And look at this bougie water. This is a common thread, the tin top. But this one actually has um the logo on top. The Tipico Chico, that has the logo on top. And then the Aquapana has the Flor de Lis on top. You knew what? What y'all knew? What y'all knew? That I was going to be um, taking a long time to do this review? Yes. Y'all did know that. I'm sorry. I'm doing live videos. If you didn't know, now you know. So look at this water. All right? This is German water. And I don't know how to pronounce it. But I, look, it has a lion crest. A lion crest. So it makes me feel like maybe they're Leos. Maybe the owner of the company is a Leo. Or maybe his great, 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 great grandfather is a Leo. Maybe that's why they got that. But look at the bougie Look at the design. Not only are they giving you dots. So you're like, espérate. What is up with these bottles? Ustedes tienen como un frecura. You know? So. Hmm. And then it has the ridges. Ahí está. Mira. Wepa, wepa, wepa. Epera, epera. Hold on, hold on. Germany, Germany, Germany. Yo, you about to make me catch a flight. Because I need to figure out why y'all did this water like this. It's una frecura. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This water is a sparkling mineral water from Germany. And the label is a little, is a little like slapped on. It's not giving me fantasy. But the bottle itself is everything, right? It's everything. So I'm like, espérate. So Mexico and Germany, they all got like these interesting ridges on the bottle. You know. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Now, let's take it to the final trip around the globe. This is from New Zealand. It is the 1907 Arstesional Arst 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 Water. I'm probably saying that not wrong. <laughs> All right? So, listen. Oh, I didn't even read what they said about this. Sorry. Let's read what this German water says. Taste the origin of nature. From a specific geo geological, 
Genocological region of volcanic origin, naturally carbonated source with a high mineral content, good source of calcium and magnesium, natural and refreshing neutral taste. Okay, out of all the waters, this water is a little scary to me because I heard that. And I don't know the logistics, but I guess that this is when it's alkaline. This is alkaline. Wait, no. This is just natural mineral water. I've never had just natural mineral water. A low sodium beverage, diet low in sodium may reduce the risk of high blood pressure disease associated with many factors. Okay, I don't know. I'm nervous about this, but the bottle is cute. I'm nervous about that though. Now let's go back to 1907. This is the packaging that was a little cheaper. There was another packaging that was like $3 at Whole Foods and it looked like a little jug. I was most excited about that one, but since I was getting different waters, I just went ahead with the cheaper one. This one was cheaper. Magnesium will make me poop. Okay, German water. We're definitely gonna just take a little sip of you. Um, magnesium makes you poop. So maybe they want to clean out your system in preparation of Yo no voy a decir nada. Yo no voy a decir nada. If you don't know what that means, tú no eres una freca o un freco. So, 1907, 1907, 1907, a product of New Zealand. And then they say, why 1907? It's a shout out to the pioneers who in the 1907s began bottling water in the town of Pereo, Peroa, Peroa. Peroa. I don't know what that it's P A E R O A. New Zealand. 1907 water originates far from the modern world, where snow capped volcanic mountains, ancient forests, and pure rivers are left alone to thrive. Eperate. I love that. That thriving. They're saying thriving. This water is going to help me thrive. Uh, so. I know you're going to be upset, but this video is already 28 minutes long. So, I just did a breakdown of the water. We still got to taste it. And thanks to Martha, who sponsored today's meal for the mukbang and the taste test of all these waters. Um, honestly, all of you guys that donated to all of this. You really are my sponsors. You are my fairy bombas. I love you guys. And wow, what a way to end it, right? I'm like, love you guys. And thank you for all the support. And then what if I never come back with part two? You're going to be like, um, girl, we donated. You done made us watch 28 minutes of you talking about the water. And then you being a freca over here. And you ain't going to tell us what this water tastes like. Nah. Nah, I want a refund. I want a refund. And I'm going to be like, chill, 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 chill. Be relaxed, relax. Why you why, why you always want to go so quickly? Like, that's why I don't like coming to your house. Like, you said we was going to chill, right? So why are you trying to get straight up on me and trying to push my neck down like something's going to happen? Don't let these water bottles confuse you. Yeah, they got some ridges and they making a girl think some thoughts. But don't think because you bought this bougie water that something's going to go down. Like, relax. You ordered Olive Garden to go. All right? You acting like you took me to like some fine time. Come on. Come on, Chris. You see, this is why. This is why, Chris. And then when I come at you with an attitude, then it's, oh, you, it's that attitude. It's that attitude. It's because you are Afro-Latina. That's why. Y'all spicy. No. You keep trying me. You keep trying me. All right? You could try those other little girls, but I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman, period. Period. Do you not see these diamond-encrusted nails? Did you pay for these press-on nails? 
No. No. All right? So stop acting like this. Like, come on. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So now that I gave y'all a little skit at the end, we're going to go to part two. Part two. Um, Y'all mad at me? Y'all mad at me? Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Y'all, I feel like y'all don't have fun with me. Don't be mad. Are y'all mad that there's a part two? Are y'all mad? Y'all better not be. Y'all better get with the program. This is the Mishi show. This is the Mishi reality, all right? Y'all getting two episodes in one. So if, if YouTube tries to play me and they don't want to let you give you that notification that I went live, I need y'all to look at, I need y'all to look me up on YouTube because I'm going on right after this for part two. A very, very, very bougie water review part two with a, with a mukbang, with a mukbang. So preparate, that means eating noises. Also, my suggestion box is open. It's in the description down below. So if you want your suggestions or your light shade and reads that y'all be trying me with, if you want those to be into consideration, you know what to hit me up with and send me a screenshot, period.